guys. Um, so a lot of you have been requesting that I do more physics videos. Yay, physics. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to educate you on the degeneracy of light spectra and total refraction fields. Follow me with this one. Alright, so if I didn't scare you off with the title of... I'm basically... What I'm going to do is you're going to listen to me disprove military cloaking devices. Yes, a 16-year-old is pretty much saying, no, you're doing it wrong, to the military. So, anyways, the cloaking devices I'm talking about is what they do is they um, make you invisible, and the idea behind that is it refracts and repels light around the person so that people outside can't see the person. Um, so I've been mulling this around in my head for quite a few days now, and um, I've come up with the reason why it won't work. There's actually two reasons um, why this is not effective. You can, um, you can still do it, um, but it'd be more for like hiding an object. Um, it won't, it doesn't work for a person. Um, so how these um, invisibility devices work? So, what it, it exploits refraction fields, as I briefly went over before. Um, and how they get a refraction field? Well, first off, refraction is just kind of like the bending of, some, of light, basically. When I'm talking light refraction, it's bending of light. Anyways, so how do refraction fields work? Well, what they do is they concentrate a whole bunch of electro, um, like electromagnetic energy. Uh, into a single area, and they get it like they need a lot of this energy. And what they do is that energy, uh, electromagnetic, um, it it warps light like it it acts as a similar pole magnet to light. Like it's an a magnetic, um, a magnetic to light photons, so it basically repels them. Pretty simple. So like if you have this one, say this mouse was full of. Um, the energy strong enough to repel the light, it would just kind of, the light would go, it'd be like a stream of light, it would just kind of go around it. It's kind of like rushing water would. Um, actually, exactly like, ru almost fell. <laughs> Anyways, exactly like rushing water. Um, what this causes is uh, like um, a sands luminous area, so like a, uh, a an area where there's pretty much no light, and since your eye needs light to see, it can't see the area without light. Um, so you'll see behind it, you'll see in front of it, but you won't see the part, because the light is being bent around, you'll see behind it. Um, but you won't actually see that object. It's pretty cool stuff. And you're like, okay, so you're probably assuming, well, why can't we just make an area big enough for a person to fit in? Bam, we're done, we have cloaking. Well, no, it's not that simple. We've had this technology for years now. It's not nothing new. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite old. So, problem is, as I mentioned before, your eye needs light to see. Well, this is a problem because inside that refraction area, there is no light. Like, none at all. So if you're inside that invisibility area, you won't be able to see anything. And since you know, okay, so whatever, people are blind, so like, like there are some blind people in the world, so you know, just it, it, not, not seeing is nothing new. Well, for someone who's not blind normally, um, their other senses are going to take over and over overcompensate. They're not going to know what they're doing. Um, if you put a blind person in there, it will be a little bit better, um, won't be, I don't know, they still won't have their gu guide dog, they still won't really have any way of knowing where they're going, so using this as a military application is kind of ineffective, like it's never going to work, it doesn't, n never, never, never will this method work, so stop wasting your taxpayer's money, and uh, you know, start chasing a different way to cloak people, which there are a few other ways, but they're just not nearly as good. Um, uh, anti-magnetic light, I'm just going over my notes right now because I am horrible and I don't have a script. Anyways, um, so, okay, so some of you might be thinking, well, 
Uh, what if you brought a flashlight in there with you? You could create your own light. Well, there's the problem. Um, any light that was admitted, now I'm looking for a flashlight and don't have one, um, but any light that was emitted would just be automatically repelled faster than the speed of light. It would be the speed of light plus the speed of the repulsion um, because light actually does speed up and slow down. It's not a perfect constant like everybody thinks it is. It does. That's why, you know, when you stick a pencil in water, it kind of looks like it's going one way, and when it's in the air, it's going another way. It looks bent. That's because it's just light slowing down because water is denser, right? So anyways, so if you were to be inside that little bubble of refraction and hit a flashlight, turn a flashlight on, well, then the light would be not only shot out at the speed of light, it would be also the speed of the refraction on top of it, which is happening very, very fast, um, which on the outside, so, like, you still wouldn't be able to see, and also people looking outside, it would create almost like a haze, it would be like a distortion, um, even more of a distortion um, in that area, because... Now you have light that is going faster than the other light, and it's causing weird things to happen, so it would give away your position, and also not solve your... Ow! Um, it would give away your position, and also still wouldn't solve your uh, problem of not being able to see. Well, what if you see in a spectrum of light that isn't being warped? Uh, well, yes and no. Um, so, say you were to only bend and refract visible spectrums of light. Well, that's okay. That would solve your um, problem of being, like, of people seeing you. And then you could just use infrared goggles to look in the infrared spectrum. Problem being is anybody else with in infrared goggles would be able to see you still. So, you're still not invisible. Hate to break it to you. What else? The only way I can see around this... Actually, no, that wouldn't even work. Never mind. I just disproved myself there. Uh, what else? There's not really much to... Not much else to say. Like, that's proof enough right there that this will never, ever work. Um, that's pretty much it. Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, People have been asking lately to uh, for more physics videos and math videos. Um, I actually had one person contact me saying, like, can I use this in one of my physics presentations um, for one of my older videos? I think it was the fourth dimension. I'm not quite sure. Um, anyways, so, yeah, heads up to everybody else. Um, if you want to use these videos in your presentations, go ahead. Um, it, like, you totally have my permission. Um, just make sure that I get some sort of credit, just like say, like, hey, I found this on YouTube, it's on this channel. Like, as long as you give my channel some recognition, I'm totally okay with it. Um, also, I'm definitely going to be doing more videos, um, because it looks like I'm stuck here for two months during the summer. Nothing else to do, so. Anyways. Uh, also, uh, if I have missed anything, or if you have proved me wrong, please let me know, and I will fix it. Um, and I will also give you recognition for proving me wrong. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, um, that's it. Thanks for watching.